Eight hundred. Oh, I missed that time. You hit. You hit. I did? Yeah. Oh yeah, you, you hit. hit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you were off the gun. Said I missed, and the bullet wasn't even there yet. <laughs> and then it said, "Poof." Oh, good shot, man. <laughs> Hit. Good shot, Houston. So your elevation was perfect, but you were just shading the right side a little bit. Well, what's up, guys? It's Daniel in Houston from Arms Family Homestead, and we're not at home. We're not at the Mill Creek property. Obviously. We're not at the new home. merch property. This is the new merch building, no, no, guys. No, 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 no. This is it. We are, this is it. We are on the road for today's video. Actually, in West Texas, we're about... Oh, two oh. and a half hours west of Fort Worth oh. on a giant ranch, like 40,000 acre ranch. Houston and I got invited down to a long range rifle school. It's put on by a company called Outdoor Solutions. Uh, they do a ton of shooting schools and their big thing is these field to table hunting experiences where you go out, hunt, and then they have a chef that come back. They teach you how to process the animal and they teach you how to cook it and all that stuff so they do a lot of cool stuff i'll interview we'll see if we can get one of them to tell you about what they do later but we're here for a long range rifle school because they think they say they can teach us to shoot a target at a thousand yards yeah not that we're ever going to be hunting out to a thousand yards <laughs> but wouldn't it be cool to see a 10 year old hit a target at a thousand yards yeah and it's not just us it's a it's a big youtube thing so there's several channels channels here some Chainers? guy Chainers? some guy named dutch oh, i don't know why they, they invite they'll invite anybody apparently but dutch and hadley his daughter are here the walkers are here uh a channel called hootie who he's a gun channel uh and then some other guy named kenny or <laughs> ken what's that guy's name Kendall Gray. Oh, yeah. Kendall Gray's here. Houston's been pumped to get to meet Kendall Gray. We've watched Kendall for years. Yes. Um, so it's just a big YouTube collaboration. Everybody's here to learn to shoot out to a 1,000 yards. So yeah. it's kind of chilly this morning. Yeah, We is. got in yesterday afternoon, got all our paperwork done, got in the lodge. I mean, this place is – the lodge here is really cool. <clears throat> the backside, the view is unbelievable. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Be here for a couple of days. Yeah. Get to do some shooting, and maybe Houston won't miss a coyote at 100 yards next time. Yep. <laughs> um, I gotta tell you, rifle totally surprised me. Totally, right? Because when the, when Greg first pulled the Lupos out, I'm like, yeah, we can do an Italian to come with a bolt handle like that. That's just stupid. Until I started using it, I was like, oh, wait, this is awesome. <laughs> Houston, then got you some broccoli. I, I expect you to clean your plate. Nope. It's the polite thing to do. No, no. Thank you. you should get off your phone. I'm gonna tell Bo. I'm gonna tell Bo. Every Sunday, all I get is these videos, these That's all pictures. He does. Oh, Bo's on his phone. Bo's on his phone. I'm sending the message to Bo. Yeah. So Bo will be on his phone. Made it. Seventy-five thousand hours later. It was a long road trip today, wasn't it? Yeah. But look at there. We got our room, and they got all kinds of cool right stuff here. in here. That ain't a gun. Oh, no. But hey, you do know what that is, right? Yeah, it's a tripod. For it's a gun. tripod for your gun. But a little bit nicer one than what you had back during deer season. Let's see. They can send up. So they go. It's a gun cleaning kit, a uh, Tacticam, like a rifle scope uh, camera, like it mounts on a it mounts on a gun, like a scope cam type thing. A let's see what this Tacticam Spotter LR film through your lens, film through your scope. All kinds of cool stuff, man. All right. Good night. Good night. Ready? Yeah. When I was probably eight or nine, I bought one at Walmart this is the and okay. knew I was going to choose myself because my family don't hurt me. Yeah. Man, can you guys even see a thousand yards down there? Yeah, so he's got the scratcher too. He's pretty slight. He's pretty good at that. But he's Houston? <clears throat> Kendall said he was shooting a bolt action 22 at a squirrel sized target down there. <laughs> Otherwise, he don't know what he's doing, right? <laughs> and I tend to think of recoil um, like water. Right? Recoil travels in the path of least resistance. So if I take this old traditional stance that I learned when I was Houston's age and my grandfather taught me, you know, on a big 30 on six rifle, you know, and he'd tell me, Turn sideways and get that shit. Good. good for some reason it doesn't work. I can start to fly. 
Load up and go. Uh, I'm really nervous. <laughs> I hear you. you Got to be nervous. Drop it in there. Close it up. All right. So now remember, before you touch anything, the safety is off. Okay. So that means if you touch that trigger and pull it back, it's gonna fire. So when you do your manipulation, keep your fingers straight and off the trigger. Okay. Okay. Send it. There you go, man. That was good. How did it feel? Nice. Great shot. Good job. Great shot. Where was my first hit, Houston? A little bit low and left, right in the orange. So what I'm going to do, keep the rifle up. I'm going to go ahead and adjust it. Miss. What? Miss what? Seems like all we do is eat, eat, eat. I, I get used to this. What'd you get? Chicken strips? Oh, steak fingers. That's funny because we went to Dairy Queen yesterday and Houston was like, hey, Dad, what's steak fingers? I said it's chicken fried steak cut up into strips. Yeah. Let's eat them. You know, I was just going to keep shooting, but Dutch had to come eat lunch. They said, let's eat. And I said, all right, let's go. So when we started this morning, um, <clears throat> someone said, we'll have you guys shooting out to 500 by lunch, 1,000 by dinner. That's what I heard. I got on paper at 100. <laughs> we're on, Houston and I, I think we're up to rifle number four between us. Yeah. But eventually we'll get one to shoot. But we did hit paper. No, I hit 300 a second ago. No, um, that was after they were like, hey, everybody quit shooting. Everyone wow. left, yeah. Then you know, shoot, so. I, hit, yeah, I got 300. So by lunch tomorrow, we'll be out to 500. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Dang, you want to try to drop everything, Dutch? Come on, Dang. shut your door. Let's go. We're burning daylight, folks. Oh, gosh. Gary will drive. I saw Kendall turn when he's over. Almost dinner time now, boys. What'd you say? It's almost dinner time now. Ready to go eat again? <laughs> but those pork chops will be big. That's true. We were eating. We were eating lunch, and they uh, came in and said, "Well, for dinner, we're having thick cut pork chops." And there's a wild hog. Well, I think I think we're here for the food, really. I mean, shooting's fun. But I think we're here for the food. The food's actually nice. So uh, halfway through day one, and uh, Houston and I are behind. <coughs> We are right on target. What took the rest of the crew here all morning? We did in 15 minutes once we got good rifles in our hands. So, Houston, on the rifle, huh? Houston, 500 yards. Okay. I got it. All right, Houston, I'm ready when you are. Which one is it? See it. I'm ready when you are. Hit. Two in a row, Houston. That was 300. You think you can hit it 400? Maybe. You got, what, three in a row at 300? Yeah. No, that's two. No, two, two in a row. Two okay. Row. All right. Let's see it. Fire ready. Hit. Yeah. First shot hit. Houston at 400. Easy. Oh, now, buddy. He's like, easy. <laughs> All right, Houston, you see 400 it? when you're ready. All right, so let's come okay, up. I'm ready. Scope. Okay. Hit. Yeah. I didn't have a little bit. You want to move on now? All right, Houston, we're going to bump you out to 500. All right, so we got a dollar up to nine and a half minutes, okay? 500 yards. Hey, I got faith in you. Let's do it. All right, Houston. 500 yards. Target seven, the last one on the right. I'm on it when you are. Hit. Boom. Dude. Nice job. You just drilled that target at 500 yards. 500 yards. I better put my ears on and shoot that loud, right? 500. This morning, this morning, you didn't think you could hit anything past 200. <laughs> 500. I got to dial it up. Yes. What was it? Hit. 
Nine. All right, so you are centered up on the plate, left and right. Okay. Send it. I think you're hitting. And I'm up on nine. Hit. T six on nine. Heck yeah. Good shot. Hit. Got it. Good job. All right, Houston's up. Moving up to 600 yards. It's at uh, 12 and a half. Crank her up to 12 and a half. You got this, bro. <laughs> this is six football fields. Yep. All right, Houston. Ready when you are at 600. Hit. I heard it hit. Yeah. 600 yards, Houston. That's six football fields, guys. Hit. Good job, Houston. Good job, buddy. All right, Houston has three, three rounds on target at 600, so it's my turn. You ready, Houston? Yeah, ready when you are. Slammer down. Hit. 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 Say that was a hit. Was a hit? Question mark? Hit like a top. Huh? Yeah, we had it. Six. Gosh, Dutch, you lose 300 still? <laughs> Allie's busting it that time. Yep. Oh, no, missed left edge. I go with my spotter. <laughs> my, my spotter called a hit. You heard it. My spotter called a hit. Because hey, he's a vested it interest moved. in you. It moved. That's all. So our uh, top shooter so far. Hadley. Not you. You. It's Hadley. You've got four shots on target at 900 yards. Yeah. I've never done that in my life. You can't even see that in the yard, Daniel. That's why we have a scope. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, Houston, we got some catching up to do. Hadley's 300 yards ahead of us, and she's got four shots on target. She's waiting on you. Okay. <laughs> All right, 700 yards. Do it again. Hit. Woo! I guess the shooter was ready. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 700. Nice job. Thanks. All right, eight hundred dollar up to twenty. I was on it that time. Are you ready? Look like you missed right over the top. Well, I'm on it every single time. <laughs> You're get, you'll get there. You got it. What is your app telling you this should be? Oh! I was right on you, it. Hey, you just barely missed left. Yep. You're good. That's a long shot, man. Oh! Oh! So close. Eight hundred. I missed that time. You hit. You hit. Yeah. Oh yeah, you missed. Hey. You were off the gun, said I missed, and the bullet wasn't even there yet. <laughs> and then it said, poof. Oh, good shot, man. <laughs> Ready when you are. Hit. Hit. Is that 800? 800. Oh, All right, both of us are on target. Solid hits. Like three or four piece at 800. Bumping out the 900. I'm just, I just want to get You get so nervous every time. And then you get excited okay. and you make it sound like it's no big deal. Shh. <laughs> All right, Houston's first shot at 900 yards. Let's see what you got. Hit left. So did I hit it? No. Nope. Why'd you say hit left? You hit left of the target. Sorry. All right. 900 yards, send it. Oh. Looked like a hit to me. That's a hit. Hey. I didn't hear it ting, but it looked like a hit. It's definitely a hit. Are you ready? Can shoot, can shoot. 
Alright. All right. Let's end it. Low. What? Oh, no, it's a hit. Yeah. It, it's was, hard. It, was a, it was low, but it was a hit. It's Hey, I was recording it through the phone, through the spotting scope. It's hard to see, but 900, that was a hit. I was about to say, I hit that dead center. <laughs> I'm on it. Hit? Yeah. Again, low. Hey, you hit it, though. Yeah, I want, I still have one more bullet. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you just load it full, you just get to keep shooting until you run out, right? Hey, why not? <laughs> Good hit. The wind's shaking. My camera's blowing. You want me to get it? No, but I'm just saying, if I miss, I've got an excuse. The wind's blowing my camera. That means it's blowing down there too. Send it. Okay. Oh hit. Good, hit. Good job. It was awful nice of all of you to uh, finish up and, and wait on us. I heard y'all down here cheering. It was like a cheerleading section, right? Or were you cheering because I was just finally done? We're just happy. We're just glad you found this. <laughs> we cheering about. I mean, honestly, not all of us can shoot like your daughter. What <laughs> <laughs> they call it, Annie, Annie Oakley? Yeah. All right, it's three o'clock. Houston and I are caught up. Nobody's ahead of us. Hadley's got three hits at 900. So does Houston. So do I. Dutch. We caught up. Finally. We caught up with the with the faster kids in the class. Now Houston, Houston's lining up for his first attempt. Hey, at 1,000 yards, Houston. No. Good talk. Don't shoot yet. I'm not even ready. Well, I'm waiting on you, then. Ready when you are. It's going right, but the wind's not there. We're ready, Hadley. Maybe. Houston. Hey. That was a hit. That was? That was a hit. I watched the bullet spray, buddy. Thanks. You're not hearing it this far away. No, I, I didn't. I thought I missed it. Yeah. No, you nailed it. I could tell by the... I was waiting to see your reaction, and you went... Ugh. <laughs> That's because right as soon as the rest of them, as soon as I shot, you were like, oh, you missed. Oh, you got it. <laughs> we, we were just waiting to see your reaction that time, buddy. I couldn't know without you going, ah. Don't miss. Don't miss. I bet he missed. Nah. Nah. No. I see the spray. I, uh, I really can't tell. I, it's uh, all underneath uh -huh. it. No. One for one. I think no. I'm retired. Uh, <laughs> I'm retired, uh, Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> Your spotter just called a miss. Look. No, she said no. Badly. No hit. We're on the same team. <laughs> I jumped that time. I jumped. <laughs> there was no way that was going to be a hit. No way. There you go, impact. Yeah. That was a real good hit. Oh, yeah, that's so nice. Me? Nice. Yes, sir, you. You're <laughs> good job, buddy. Hey, give me knuckles. I <laughs> aimed in between them. So oh, so you didn't do what he said, huh? He I said. Did what, I, what I thought was best. He said, <laughs> put it on the edge of the target <laughs> next to it. Hey, hey. <laughs> it's my fault. It's the gun's fault. Pointed there. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's that vast experience. Yeah, apparently you got too much experience to listen to a coach. <laughs> Impact. Nice. Two in a row. Top right corner. Right, right next to your first one. Yep. All right. Everybody else has hit the target already. Somebody's got to go last, right? <laughs> Between me and Kendall, who's going to be the last one? Yeah, the last one. You said 100 yards, right? <laughs> you should be good at that by now. You've got plenty of practice Ready when there. you are. If you can hit the target. All right. Hit. Hit. All right, I'm done. <laughs> Did you hear it? It just, this, it came back to us. <laughs> Retired. I'm shooting 100%, 100%. At, a, at a thousand yards. Elevation was good on the right side. 
Do it hit the right side? Yeah. I was holding the left edge. I think you might be in the water. Hit. Heard it. There it is. Oh, Such a delay, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Makes a minute to get there, doesn't it? Hmm. I just or don't know back. where it hit. And hit metal. Yeah. Hit the target. <laughs> yeah. That's where it hit the target. It's a thousand yards. I can't even tell there's a target down there right now. That's in the water. Hit. Ding. 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 They made it. Houston. Yeah. For so you're the youngest to, uh, that's ever hit a thousand yards during yeah. our class since 2012. Women, wow, that's uh, pretty cool. Like, I'm hey. the first one to Knuckle hit a thousand up, yard <laughs> shot. <laughs> first, uh, <laughs> no, you're the youngest one. Hey, how many kids Wait, with you, have hey, hit? you might have lost to Hadley, but she's three years older than you, so <laughs> yeah, that's, so there's that. Uh, talking to me while she shot, so yeah, I'm, I'm here. I was talking to you. Her her I was talking to you because every time you get down on the you gun, you go, hey, every time every time you get down on the gun, you go at a thousand yards. Hey, I'm thinking the new nickname, Prairie Dog. Smooth as fast, yeah. Prairie Dog's a good one. That's still pretty cool, though, man. Yep. Thanks. <laughs> nice job, bud. Yeah, don't lean on that dude. door too far. A thousand yards is a long way, Houston. That's a yeah. That's a long way. They were wanting to walk down here, look at these targets, but we have now. No. We drive. Thousand yard target, Houston. Um, some people would say you missed, you know, because you're supposed to hit right there. But at a thousand yards, hey, let's turn and look back that way. The shooting house is. I'm gonna I'm gonna estimate a thousand yards down there to the shooting house. Hear me, Dutch. Do what? I said that shooting house. Where we were shooting at, it's a long ways. Man. I'm estimating about a thousand. I think it's right at it, probably, if I was going to guess. About a thousand, probably. <laughs> <laughs> about a thousand. You walked it off? Yeah, I stepped it off. Yeah. I, use oh, my, 99 .5. I use my instincts. It's a long <laughs> ways. A long ways. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Knocking the paint off. Good shot, Cass. What old kg1.com slash shop or first link in the description or whatever it is. Here's my bullets. Oh, they're back here in the dirt. You gonna shoot them again? Yeah. <laughs> you want a uh, vertical or horizontal? Both, please. Both, of course. That was day one, shooting out to a thousand yards. <laughs> yeah. The, lo the longest shot you'd ever taken before that was probably um, 150, 175 yards. That's pretty awesome. Shout out to a thousand a day. This is just day one. We're gonna come back for day two tomorrow. It's gonna to be more like a, like real world hunting scenario based stuff, kind of off, not just in a shooting house. So shooting at different distances, not like 100, 200, 300. Um, a little bit more hunting scenario based type stuff tomorrow. So you ready? Yeah. I bet they got some good pork chops for supper tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I see your first line again. Well, dinner. here we are again, behind Dutch in the buffet line. Actually, there's no buffet. There's serving. There's service. 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 It's just like what the service you get at home, right? Oh, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. yeah. No, not at my house. <laughs> not at my house. My wife's a good cook, but she is not serving me at the table. I see probably. you doing a lot of cooking outside. <sighs> I try. The new outdoor kitchen. That's the problem. When you build something like that, then your wife's like, <laughs> you better use it. You go cook. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> amazing looking at that biscuits and gravy all right day two day one was fun day one was pretty cool day two is like I, i'm gonna say day one was like they were teaching us how to walk today we just got to take off running on our own it's gonna be like real world scenario based hunting based type stuff shooting off a log you know no no big nice bench to lean on so i think it's gonna be a lot of fun probably catch some rattlesnakes Used to that, I keep hearing something about jack rabbits. One of the instructors <laughs> is scared of rabbits. I think I don't know. He said any rabbit comes out, he's, he's gonna blast it. Well, that's pretty 
small. <laughs> He's a little guy. So, anyways, we're gonna get day two started. I'm gonna find my target, and the quickest way to find your target, guys, zoom out. Zoom way out. Get in the general vicinity, and then once you find your target, and get your body set up. See, I want this guy here, because that's pretty stable there. Once I get this guy set up. And I find the target, then as I'm looking through the scope, I can zoom in to where I need to and then take the shot. And you're looking at the one in the road? Okay, so if you look at the road, you see the one in the road? We're not shooting at that one. If you go left a little bit, in that rock clearing, sort of low, there's a target right in the middle of it. It's kind of hard to see with your naked eye. I think I can see it. Yeah, but with the scope, you can definitely see it. Okay. Are you on it? Mm-hmm. Okay, don't shoot yet. So we're, this is just how starting to shoot. We're in different scenarios. Right now we're about 580. Missed to the right. That was a good shot, man. You were really close. Yeah. Right. Hit. Good shot, Houston. Hey. 506 nice. yards. Nice job. Second dude. shot. Second shot. Oh, that was pretty good. awesome. Good. All right, Houston on his second shot. You guys can't even see the target. It's 506 yards on that rock bluff over there. Is this supposed to be hard? <laughs> you just hit the target. Don't worry about it. Keep shooting. No excuses for you to miss a deer in the future now. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> You're not loaded, apparently. Nope, you didn't put a shell in. Oh. Hey, that was good practice. That's all it was. I didn't jump that time, too. <laughs> yeah. Two for three. Probably jinxed myself here now. I left. That means I'm beating. That dang camera. That means I'm beating. <laughs> you are now for sure. I'm the camera's blowing it off target. I'm ready when you are. Okay. Hit. A little bit left. It's a dead center. Good but. call. Good hit. All right. I hit it. I proved it. 500, 500, this one's 580, Houston. Five inches. Get good and comfortable first, okay? Just barely off right side. I was dead center, I'm pretty okay, sure. Okay, aim between the edge and the center. Which on the edge? Left side. So you have the left side, right side. Aim like right here. Okay. Not on the edge, just... Just the left it side, over. okay. Favorite no. Left hey, left side. you know why? Look at that grass beside you. See, the, the wind picked up a little bit more. Yeah. The wind's going to affect it. Yeah. Was that me? Did you shoot just now? Yeah. I think it was just barely over the top. <laughs> Two people. A little lower. And aim left edge, okay? Send it. There you go. Top right corner. That was a hit, Houston. Hey, grab another bullet there. Is it just off because Drop it. the exact spot? Or? Drop it down to 12. Take that quarter out of it. And aim left edge. Uh, half minute, two o'clock. I heard two hits. <laughs> that was a good one. Two shots, two hits, right? Hit. Boop. I'd finish on a hit, man. Because if you don't finish on a hit. Ready? Yep. Yeah. 
There you go, Bill. Yeah. This view right here is an amazing vapor trail. There you go. Top right corner. Send it. But when I'm out here all day, it Impact, dead center hit. Good job, Kendall. Get ready. Send it. Just off the top left corner. Okay. Uh, shade left. And send it. Impact. Same old green gauge. <laughs> nice job. Nice shot. Good shot. Perfection. Man, you know these guys really are good instructors. I'm telling you, they took you from zero to hero. Hey, I got footage from yesterday whenever you're trying to make the paper. <laughs> well, that wasn't my fault. We proved that. <laughs> <laughs> not on camera, though. Oh, that's right. Mr. Perfection, right. you're not wearing the earmuffs. So this is Greg Ray. Greg, I met Greg the first time at our Creators United conference. Greg and his wife, Deborah came to it. And uh, actually, I think she drug him to it. <laughs> she did. <laughs> it was like a mile from their house, but yeah. they came and you started a YouTube channel for Outdoor Solutions. Yep. So tell us about Outdoor Solutions, what the Long Range Rifle School is, what else you do real quick. Just kind of give everybody a rundown. Yeah, so the, the real quick nickel tour is their 19th year in business. Uh, we started out just putting hunting and fishing trips together for people just because I like to hunt and fish. Mm -hmm. And then in 2012, we started the Long Range Schools. Uh, just one location in Utah. We now have four. We got one in Utah, one in Michigan, and two here in Texas. And then uh, in 2019, we started the From Field to Table program. And it's all the, the Long Range Rifle School. Mm -hmm. In one day, they taught Houston, a 10 year old, to shoot and hit a target at 1,000 yards. Yep. That's pretty impressive. It's very impressive. And Houston is, is our youngest ever to attend the class and, and do what he did. So he did outstanding, yeah. So on the, so fill the table, what's that? What's fill the table? So it is um, exact, exactly what it sounds like. So people will come uh, to one of our locations. We do it here in, in Texas. So they'll come, they'll spend a little bit of time on the range, nothing like what you guys have done. Mm -hmm. but they'll spend some time with Mac and just mostly about shot placement, safety, how to get in and out of the blind, that type of thing. Then that evening, they're, they're going here on the property and hunting hogs, deer, turkey, you know, just depending on whatever's in season. Yeah. And then they're going to learn how to field dress. They'll learn how to skin. And then you saw the processing center, bring it over there, and then they'll work with one of our chefs. We have four working on five chefs on our team. They're going to learn how to butcher, process, and then spend time in the kitchen. And everybody gets together and they uh, in the kitchen, and we team everybody up in, in pairs, like mm -hmm. you in Houston would be paired up. Mm -hmm. And you'd be responsible for one of the items uh, on the menu that the chef has put together. Gotcha. And so it's all from everything that everybody has hunted uh, right. the previous week. And then we vacuum seal, package everything. Everybody goes home with a cooler full of uh, you know fresh protein. And right. uh, then they can follow up on our website, one from fieldtotable.com, and look at recipes and cooking techniques and butchering techniques to kind of follow up. Gotcha. So yeah. best way to contact you is through your website, fieldtotable.com. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then they can find you on Instagram, YouTube, all the places. All, all the regular places. It's from fieldtotable.com and then outdoorsolutionscorp.com okay. as well for the long range schools. So. Like I said, you don't have to be an expert marksman. You don't, have to, you don't have to know the first thing about a gun to come out here. If you're interested in learning how to shoot long distance or just want to get some trigger time, it's the range is incredible. I've never shot out to 1,000 yards. I think the longest I'd ever shot before yesterday was about 700, and that was just with a friend on his range one day. And then the field to table, if you guys are interested in, if you're, if you're not a hunter, but you have thought, man, I'd li what's it like to go out and hunt a deer but you don't have the land you don't have a place mm -hmm. you don't know how to, what to do after the kill because that's that's 90 percent of it is what you do with the game after it's harvested and i think the field the table is the perfect place for somebody that's wanting to learn how to get into hunting and you know having your own meat that you harvested on your table yeah half, half of our classes the last two years now have been first-time hunters so that's, that's you, awesome. you don't have to be experienced to come and do perfect. this with us yeah, yeah. cool yeah. well thanks man we appreciate it yeah thanks buddy I figure most everybody on our channel knows Kendall Gray. Obviously, he's got like 2 million subscribers on YouTube. If you don't know Kendall, go check him out. But I figure most everybody ought to know who he is. And then the Walkers are here. Keeping it Dutch is here. Maybe some of you may not know this guy. <clears throat> I have to elevate my camera up. Hootie, hootie who? What's your channel? Hootie who? It's hootie who, yeah. It's all gun stuff, right? Yep, all hunting, mostly bolt action stuff. But yeah. Let's go check him out. Flinging lots of boo lots every day. <laughs>
All right, so you're just underneath it, Houston. I didn't hit that. No, just underneath it. You were very, very close. Oh, almost dead center, man. Beautiful. Yeah, good shot. Might have been better in Kendall's shot. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, you knew that was bad, huh? There you go. Nice. Good, good shot. shot. Good job, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> come out the line and did it fall over? It did. <laughs> it always does. Thanks for rescuing us, Kendall. My people needed to watch. <laughs> we got a ground view. So I was watching an Outdoor Solutions video this morning. And I noticed <clears throat> they had a fish fry in the lodge on the video I was watching. One of the meals was a fish fry. Okay. So I'm holding out hope we might get to eat fried fish on this trip. Is that on the menu? With, with Miss Linda, it very possibly could be. Mm -hmm. I can't make any guarantees. We're hoping. But we're hoping. We, we like fish, don't we? Fishing, oh, let's go. Then let's go. Go get your fishing bowl. Yeah, I got one. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> we're kind of out of luck, buddy. <laughs> I shot first, but <laughs> did you? Yeah. Well, work. Kendall said, "Spotter ready!" <laughs> Bang. <laughs> Get off the phone. Always on the phone. We're, we're trying to work here. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> hey, you 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 should stand next to Hootie Hoot. Dude, he's like literally six eleven. He makes you look small. And you're what, 4'11"? No, 6'4"-ish. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> wonder what's for lunch. I'm trying to talk them into Probably cooking this fried roast. fish. We each get a pot roast. I was watching one of their videos on YouTube on Outdoor Solutions, yeah. and they had a big fish fry, and I was like, hey. That's right up your alley. We better have some fish. What kind of fish was it? I don't know. Pong, cro uh, like it, we got an extra chair. It's really throwing us off. So now. I better bring an extra dessert in case that mystery person shows up. <laughs> no. It's, it's not going. <laughs> well, this game gets really quiet when the food hits the table. Well, we have several groups. Try to talk her into an extra fried pie or whatever. Yeah, it. <laughs> I'm counting on how we want to eat hers. Well, that is just a big car with like water in it. Oh, there's a bunch of little burn. Hey, now's our chance. They gave us the keys Let's to a go. buggy on 40,000 acres. The silencers. <laughs> we could get away and it would they'd take them two weeks to find us yep. out here. It's crazy. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go. I'm ready. All right, back from lunch on day two. Stage three here. First target, Houston. Hey, look at me. It's 880 yards. Oh, that's easy. In a strong wind. 21 I think it was I think it was 23 and a quarter. I'll look again. Our target is across the pond on the two track road to the left there. 880 yards. Nailed it, Adley. Top right. Look at the water behind. Got it. Houston. That's awesome, dude. Hey. I can't hear a half of what you're saying. I'm proud of you. That's what I'm saying. Look at me. That's a heck of a shot, dude. Almost 900 yards in the wind. Thanks. <laughs> no big deal, huh? 705 yards across the lake here. Well, can I pond. Shoot? Ready? Auto ready, send it. Nice. Did I hit it? First shot hit. 
Good job, Houston. Hit. Good shot, Houston. So your elevation was perfect, but you were just shading the right side a little bit. <laughs> My guy didn't shoot. He didn't load it. He didn't load it. He had an empty cartridge in the gun. <laughs> it didn't load. Last chance to redeem yourself. All right, Houston. Here we go, Andre. guys there you have it it's uh all over but the crime we're fixing to head home and well say goodbye to everybody and then head home so yeah. houston what'd you think let me ask you a serious question when we showed up before we started did you think you would ever hit a target at a thousand yards not a whole much no yeah i was a little concerned i wasn't sure if houston was gonna be able to do it but guess what these guys are top-notch instructors they have top-notch equipment and they know what they're doing trust the process and even Houston was hitting targets at a thousand yards. Yeah, I'm the youngest one in the class to ever do this. Ever. Yeah. So guys, don't forget, if you're interested in coming to do this or their their uh, build the table events, check them out, Outdoor Solutions. I'll leave all the links in the description box down below. Um, go check out their YouTube channel, Outdoor Solutions. And there's a lot of different stuff on there if you want some ideas of what all they have to offer. So Houston, why don't you wrap this thing up for us? So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, we'll see you on the next video. Peace.